Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. Today I'm gonna to look at creating dimensions off of a solid and some of the scenarios that can come up. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this model onto the screen. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is change my background color and turn off my axis display. And then I'll also change my active color so I have a nice contrast. Okay, so we have this solid. Really there's two views we need to do. Uh, one of the uh, this profile here and then another one of the uh, top profile so we can figure out the dimension inside radiuses etc so from this uh, view right now what I want to do is create a new layer make it active okay I'm going to sketch out a rectangle like so and then I'm gonna generate a surface plane like so okay and then now I'm gonna go to intersection curves between these two models uh, or surfaces and then I'm gonna turn everything else off and then I'm gonna delete that geometry there and then I'll also delete this outside shape here okay so this is a cross-section of one end of the part so when we come in here, maybe what we're trying to figure out is these radius values, okay? And one of the things you'll notice as I move over this geometry, you can see this curve and this curve is gonna uh, is being selected, okay? Um, the reason why that's happening is because that's a spline. So if we go to dimension radius and we try to click on this, we're not gonna be able to click on this because, well, it's not a radius, it's a spline. So what we need to do is convert it to a spline. The way that we convert it to a spline is by exploding. We go to utilities, explode, arcs. We click on the two segments that we want to explode to arcs. We choose okay. And now what that's done is, it, it's, is it's broken it down to arc segments. So when we go to dimension and then radius, uh, now we'll see these values come up. Let's make this... Uh, Okay. All right. So now you'll see that these ra radius values come up. Now, if you're going to use a radius, you can do a post value and you can make that an R. So instead of it looking like 1.56, now it looks like 1.56 R. We can do this to the inside stuff as well. Uh, the other thing you can do is uh, dimension vertical and we can go from here to here. Uh, we need to get rid of the R. So we'll delete that. So we can go from here to here and we get that value and we can go from here to here and we get that value. Okay, so these are just some of the ways that we can create dimensions on this. Uh, the other thing, let's say we want to figure out the angle here. Uh, what I would do is uh, draw, let me do a dotted line. I'll do line, continuous, horizontal, vertical, shift, click on this circle, grab the center point, sketch out a line. Okay, so now we have a line. From there, I can do line uh, join, still a dotted line, but what have you, and then dimension angle, and I can go from here to here if I wanna figure out what that angle is. It looks like that doesn't meet the center point, but whatever the critical dimensions you need, now that you've exploded the spline, uh, it's easy to figure this stuff out. We can do dimension vertical, we can you know, define what that thickness is there. We can do our overall dimension, dimension horizontal, grab this point, grab that point over there, and there we go, all right? So that's one view. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, that layer off, I'm gonna go to another view. Uh, actually, I mean, I can go to the plane, but I find it easier sometimes just to rotate the mo model to the, the view that you're in, so we're gonna rotate this this direction 90 degrees choose OK and we're gonna follow a similar uh, workflow as what we did before the only thing is the part isn't uh, the axis isn't on center right now I know that because I've uh, went through the part previously so what I want to do is extract edges single from this edge here okay let me change my line style back to uh, a solid and then we'll put a put this back in yellow so I'm gonna put a point on the arc center 
and then I want to measure that arc center and you'll notice that it's below Z0 so when I bring the solid back up I'm going to uh, really I should just move the whole thing up or move the plane down e either way uh, let's just move it up so I'm gonna do utilities translate this is gonna be 0 0.0031 select all okay I believe that got it go back to a top view and now we're gonna do our rectangle do our surface plane okay now we want to do our intersection curves and then from here we can turn that off and then we can select that plane and delete it we can select the outside shape and delete it go back to a top view okay so now we want to figure out the outside dimension so we can do dimension vertical between here and here and that gives us that value um, we can do the dimension between here and here and that will give us that value uh, the other thing you're going to find as well, these, even though they look like uh, circles, uh, actually, if we measure them, if we go measure entity, you can see that they're spline curves. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. We'll do uh, utilities, explode, arcs. Click on these two sections here. All right, so now we've, we've broken them, and then we can do dimension radius grab this section here again if it's a radius you want to throw an R value in there so that it's easier to read grab this one here it's the same on the other side but uh, essentially what it comes down to is converting your surface edges to wireframe and then when you're using your dimensioning tools like your radius tool if you're not actually dimensioning a radius it's not going to work so then you explode it to get into a form that you can uh, if there's any questions or comments let me know if you have a project that you want me to go through with some uh, you know an example or a situation you have difficulty with uh, just go ahead and email it to me or message me on the After Dark Facebook page on the YouTube page uh, or whatever forum that this video may be posted in alright guys we'll see you in the next video thank you so much